the two parts have been developed and tested separately. So today with the mating, we start a following phase, the next phase, with the, the two main constituents of the Euclid spacecraft are together. It is a very dedicated operation because the, the tolerances or the, the budget we have for the mechanical uh, stresses is, is very small. It is a, a big, big structure and also the accessibility of all the, all the bolt locations is, is not always very good. So they had, need to improvise a lot to get the bolts in, to, to inspect, that, to be sure that there not, is not something underneath. So that's why it takes a long time uh, to finally come to the, the configuration that the telescope is on top of the satellite. You can see the results, that's really amazing. So we are super happy, everyone is happy. This is a completely new design with a lot of uh, challenges involved with this mission. And uh, we have uh, put together a team of uh, about 120 companies in uh, Europe, uh, which are working together uh, in good synergy for several years uh, and we are very proud of the results achieved today. Then the, the test campaign will start in, uh, in Cannes the full spacecraft will be tested in environmental condition and at the end it will be ready to be shipped to Kourou for the launch campaign. It's a telescope that uh, will scan the sky with uh, an accuracy that is unprecedented. So this is really something that no other spacecraft did before. This will allow to get additional information and to better understand the story and the, for the expansion of the universe and the growth on the cosmic structure. <laughs> 